Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today we're going to be doing some destructive testing on my penny and dime Damascus knife. Now, a couple of weeks ago when I built this, I had a lot of questions about people uh, being very skeptical about how strong is penny and dime Damascus. So today I thought I'd do a destructive testing, destructive testing on this knife. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an edge on it, uh, sharpen it all up so it can at least cut paper. And then I'm going to start off with cutting some wood and then cross cutting some hardwood. And then for my final test, if you haven't seen other videos of me doing some destructive testing, I like to try out how strong it is cutting aluminum. Now physically, you could never take this and hit it hard enough to cut through the aluminum. It's just too hard. So I like to put the knife in my iron worker and put 60 tons of pressure and see what it does when it cuts through solid 6061 aluminum. Before we do that, if you haven't seen the previous videos of how I actually made this, um, the canister part of it, check out the next videos. It's just a highlight of how it was made. <laughs> Now that you saw how it's made, let's do some testing. So I put a nice edge on it. And keep in mind, this is a hunting knife. So it doesn't have to be razor sharp for like a chef knife does, but it does cut paper to some degree. That was a more of a rip, but, but it does cut pretty good. So I'm going to try out some, just shaving off some of this wood. Hardwood dowel right there. Chop that and just see how the edge holds up. The edge is still pretty good. Now the final test I'm going to do is will it cut through solid aluminum now this is 6061 and it's a very hard aluminum i think personally it's harder than um, than a bone it's very tough and really i cannot hit it enough to cut it through by hand i probably end up breaking the handle or, or something like that just trying to hit it hard enough to cut through. So I have my iron worker, which has 60 tons of force. So unless you're Superman, you could never take that knife and cut through that solid piece of aluminum. So that being said, I'm going to put my knife underneath the force of the press and try to cut through the aluminum. And we're going to take a look at the edge. Okay, so I have the press on. I'm going to put this piece of aluminum on the back of this so it doesn't destroy the uh, saw on the back. And I have my piece of aluminum. It's about almost three quarters, a little more than three quarters of an inch tall. I'll put that down right under my press and I'm going to press down on it with 60 tons of force in one spot and I don't know what's going to happen. 
Hopefully it doesn't totally destroy my knife, but I'm willing to try it. Okay. Now it's engaged. Whoa. It's cutting a little bit on an angle. Let's try that this way. I don't want this thing to fly off. under that force. I'm gonna try and, uh, I have my safety stuff on, but I really don't feel like getting shot in the face with a piece of flying aluminum. Okay, let's try this again. Let me get it to come down prop straight. Oh, oh. Ooh, it just broke that right. The blade tilted and just broke broke the side of that. You see that? It's still there, but you could see it broke right at the edge there, and right on this side here, right in half. That's not good. And that what happened was it came down and twisted. So since we're doing that, let's try. A little bit flatter spot here. Oh, did the same thing. It's moving and bending my blade. You can see that right there. But it took a nice chunk out of that. And that's really hard. Like for something to cut through that, forget about pieces of wood and and things you can hammer by hand. Try and do a complete cut with this thing. Just doesn't want to stay straight. Okay, it cut right through, and that's where it cut through, and it looked pretty good here. And like I said, what, I, what happened was, because it was upright like this, it bent, and it forced that, that uh, edge just to break. There was so much force there. Remember, this is 60 ton of pressure. It actually didn't do too bad here. Didn't take the edge off. It just destroyed the knife right here in this section here. Wow. So let's take a closer look at this knife. Now, you could see where I destroyed the edge right here. Now, I think that was the main, the main reason that happened was because the block that I used, instead of putting it longwise over a bigger area I actually had it upright like this and as it came down it didn't come down straight and actually the press just forced it sideways which really caused it to to break in that in that small section right there now after I took it out and I tried it again in this other section here and this time I put the the aluminum flat it actually went through a few times and the edge is still perfectly sharp so I think just by fluke I put it the wrong way and that's why it cracked this edge here so overall I think the the uh, penny and dime Damascus is really strong um, especially the way I did it that the sides of it are really just the penny and dime and the cutting edge was still that high carbon uh, 15 and 20 so that's why you can really take that that beating of cutting aluminum or cutting wood now another thing i did was when i had it in there the bottom the pommel actually hit one part of the outside of the machine which caused the handle to actually crack you see that and it cracked right along the tang there. Now that's 
A couple of reasons is because when I brought it down, it has so much force that it pulled on the pommel by accident and cracked it. And another thing is the wood I used, it's a, an ebony. The grain structure is going this way. Uh, if I used something like uh, some sort of fibrous material or an epoxy filled material, it would have, uh, this would have not happened um, to the knife handle. So overall, the material was a success. If you want to make something like this with that copper and penny, take a look at my previous uh, videos on the actual build of this knife. Thanks again for watching as we made the copper and dime Damascus knife and we destroyed it today by testing it uh, underneath the 60 ton press or the iron worker and cutting some solid aluminum 6061. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to push that button for more notifications and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later on with another fabrication video.